He still has some spells, needs to hurry up and just drop everything. Pop the RC ability, see if he can get some extra percent. Invis the queen, that invis was late! <sighs> Rip. Does he use his index fingers? It's hard to tell from this angle. I think he does. I think he's a double tapper with index. Maybe that's what we all need to start doing to have better lalos. <laughs> We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next OP matchup today in the Clash Masters playoffs. And I want to tell you, we are using the clean feed system. They won't actually let us join clan today. So we have an OP cameraman, hopefully. And I can move my camera around. So, oh, I don't want to block their webcam. Webcam OP. Uh, oh, it's Queen Walker Stephanie versus Strut. So I'm going to put my camera up here so we can see their webcams. Because we got Gaku in with the first attack of the match. Bringing us a little Queen Charge Hydra against yoyo 23's base okie dokie i'm gonna move my camera just a little bit more lock it in place and here we go we're ready battle blimp for the town hall popping the warden ability it looks cool to see uh the queen walkers guys actually in their jerseys for this as well that looks really cool yeti bomb over the town hall the tornado trap was there but the town hall still drops queen working on that lava hound he did have one dragon rider peel off to get that core multi Cameraman zooming in. Thank you. Oh, maybe a little too far, dude. Where are the healers at? We got one skelly spell, one invis, two freezes. Where's this royal champion? She's in on the south side of the base. Okay. Queen wraps around that top right side, takes out the next inferno tower. There's no more left. Skeleton spell to help damage the queen and distract some of these defenses for the royal champion. We got three spells still to go. Two dragons on the bottom side, one on the top side. The queen's still alive. This is wrecked absolutely wrecked for my homie gaku we freeze we freeze again on the outside invis the rc or just pop her ability and say gg pop the ability we don't even need the invis that's a three star you can see him breathing a sigh of relief he's excited to get that one done and a triple for queen walkers to start the match yo yo 23 is in with the first attack for strut bringing us a little queen charge hybrid against you to 14's base okay the queen starting on that top right side of the base yeti to funnel up at 12 o'clock healers on the queen and she should go in for the town hall perfectly okie dokie another coco loon we send a hog rider trying to get that cc pool nice and early but she wakes up the town hall anyway oh this is gonna get real spicy we go with the freeze she's switching targets might have to invis or freeze again. No, we're okay. Woo! All right. She'll get the town hall. Now she can work on the lava dog. That's looking much better. Deal with the pups. One more Coco Loon. Archer to help support. She's taking a lot of damage. We got to rage again. There's the second rage. Is he going to hybrid from the top or the right? What do you guys think? I feel like the pathing would be better from the top. Yep, he's going to go from the top. King at 10 o'clock to walk left. Hybrid in between the king and the queen. Siege barracks to join forces with the king. Here we go. Rage that queen one more time. She gets locked onto by the single, so we're going to go with an invis. She takes out the warden tower. We've got an early heal for the hybrid. There's a Tesla farm and lots of traps up there, though. Woo, he's losing a, quite a few troops. Still holding on to that warden ability. Queen steps to the right. Do we freeze or pop her ability? No, she gets through the single just in time. How about that? We pop Warden ability to get through the enemy king, send a couple of headhunters to help support. Queen finds the tornado trap. She doing the disco dance over there on the right side of the base. We could pop her ability and maybe get the enemy queen. Oh, she's going to walk up. Rip. Does she not come back down for the queen? No. We still have that one freeze. Are we going to use it on the queen or are we going to save it for the scatter shot? We're going to save it for the scatter shot. Royal Champion wrecks the queen. We freeze the scatter in combination with the bomb tower. RC pops her ability. Skelly Trap pops, but she gets the scatter first. Yes, that's a three star. All day long for Yo-Yo 23. It's going to be a triple, and we're going to be all tied up after the first round of attacks. Kazuma is in with the next attack for Queen Walker's Stephanie. We got some Queen Charge, Lalo. Okie dokie. 
looks weird how they cropped his camera. I'm guessing they're in a Google Meet call or something. And that's one of his teammates' cameras. You can see like a little sliver of it right above his cam, LOL. Queen on the south side of the base, king to go into the multi. Okay, dokie. Log launcher to go take out the middle multi. Interesting. Interesting. Queen gonna get stuck on the lava dog. We got a wall breaker to give queen access to the scatter shot. Ooh, we got healers on the queen now. Okay, okay, okay. Does that log launcher actually take out the multi? It's still on one HP. Yetis are not going for the middle multi. Oh, rip this plan. Those yetis were supposed to take out the middle multi. I can't click on it to show you how much health is left because I'm not in the clan, but it's only got like one HP. Yikes. Now, does Queen still go to the right? I think she will. This is going to be tough to recover, though, with that middle multi staying up. Was she supposed to go left into the eagle the whole time? I couldn't see the beginning funneling, so not quite sure. We raised the queen. There's a whole Tesla farm over here. She'll take that out. Now it's just about seeing what we can do, even though I think this is not what the plan originally had in tail. Wizard on the right. There's another skelly trap. Do we have to freeze, RC? I think you need to freeze, sir. That was a little late. Rage spell as well. Oh my gosh, don't... Oh no, he's going to risk it for the biscuit. What the? Early warden ability for the Lalo. Hi, uh... Kazuma! Oh gosh. The Lava Hound on the left, but that Archer Queen's still alive. Queen might go get the Town Hall for him if she paths correctly. He's still- oh, he did send the Royal Champion from the left. Bro, he's going full on balls to the walls. Uh-oh. Queen steps inside for the Town Hall perfectly though. There's 28 seconds left. He killed the enemy Queen. Bro, I swear, if this still works, I think he's going to run out of time, though. Queen gets the Town Hall. RC in the middle multi. He still has some spells. Needs to hurry up and just drop everything. Pop the RC ability. See if he can get some extra percent. Invis the Queen. That Invis was late! <sighs> Rip. It's a time fail. Rage something, my dude. That rage was way too late as well. Oh, man. Kazuma's struggling today. Rip. He's going to fall short on time. At 89%. Try hard is in with the next attack for Strut. Coming in with a little blizz. All the way for the town hall. Yes, sir. Invis. Rage. Okie dokie. Next invis. Down goes the town hall. We'll start working on some of these storages. Another invis. But they go straight, straight into that Giga Poison. Rip. <clears throat> Adios, wizards. We pull the hound to the bottom side of the base. Okie dokie. The heck is that? Clean feed? LOL. <laughs> that wasn't on my end. That's on their clean feed, bro. Jeez. Professional clean feed here, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! At least the cameraman's doing decent. Queen at 6 o'clock. King gonna walk in and join forces with her to go toward the scatter shot. Okay. We got a baby dragon on the right. King gonna fight the enemy royal champion. Friendly royal champion on the right as well. We pop that king ability. Down goes the scatter shot. RC will get the multi on the right. There's another skelly trap there to distract. We go with the invis, pop her ability, start the Lalo from the left side of the base. Gonna make sure we don't time fill. RC will pick up that right side multi. Can Queen beat through a wall to go get the other multi? Yes, that's going to be OP value from the Queen. We haste and freeze on the left, sending another Lava Hound across the Warden ability. Pop the Tome. Hello, test the farm at 10 o'clock. Headhunter's going for the Queen. Ooh, are they going for the King? I think one of them's for the King, one of them's for the Queen. Oh, it's a little awkward. They might not kill the Queen in time. We freeze Eagle again. Haste our way through. That Queen's still alive. Uh-oh. We got through the single. Pups are ganging up on the queen. Down she goes. Lalo cruising through the right side. We got one more freeze. He's got it. 
plenty of balloons left over. It's looking like a three star for try hard and strut are gonna be able to take a lead in this match. Six stars to five. Beautiful Blizz Lalo from Try Hard. You can see the smile on his face. He's happy about that one. Nicely done. Plenty of time to spare as the last gold swords drops and huge pressure on Queen Walkers now. They're gonna need to continue to triple and get a defense. Stars is in with the next attack. A little Lalo action. Okay, with the golem. Bat Skelly, five invis. He's going for the Skelly Belly Jelly Deli. Melly Donut. Here we go. He's going for the multi with the bat. Skelly for the CC. Next invis. Look at him concentrating. Boom. Multi goes down. CC building goes down. Okay. Giant on the south side of the base. Sneaky on the right. Cameraman, you're throwing now. <laughs> Cameraman, I gave you a compliment in the last attack. I really shouldn't have done that. Dang it. Cameraman, I can't see. Oh my gosh. There's a Tesla farm down there. The King and RC are going in. We're going to freeze once. Double Skelly Trap. Tornado Trap is there. Golem with the Queen. Okay. Hopefully she goes in for the Town Hall perfectly. King and RC need to hurry up and kill that enemy Queen. Cameraman's too busy checking on those viruses on his computer that popped up earlier. Rip. Royal Champion still has her ability. She's going all the way toward the Eagle with two of these invises. I think she should easily be able to grab the Eagle. <clears throat> we also start the Lalo on the left side. Pop that Queen ability. Down goes the Eagle. Looking good. How are we going to use these invises? I guess just save them for later. We get through the king, we got headhunters and RC pathing along. Do we pop their ability? Yep, pop that warden ability. Everybody invincible as we take on the enemy royal champion. Still got seven balloons to drop. We're gonna start dropping them on the top side. This should be crushed, dude. Last freeze is in on the scatter. We haste our way through it as well. Stars is too OP with his Lalo. Does he use his index fingers? It's hard to tell from this angle. I think he does. I think he's a double tapper with index. Maybe that's what we all need to start doing to have better Lalos. <laughs> start double tapping with our index fingers. <clears throat> haste, haste the balloons, invis the balloons, swag the other invis. Plenty of time to spare. The base is gone, bro. Stars actually makes it look easy when it's not. Wow, beautiful attack from him. Queen walkers are now two for three. Mask is in with some more queen charge. Lalo, okie dokie. We start the queen on the left side. She gonna go in toward the ego artillery. We got the lassie with the queen. Interesting. Interesting. Healers on the queen. Headhunter is in. What are we using the unicorn with? Unicorn is with the royal champion. Is homie sitting on the floor? Oh, that cannot be good for his back. Nah, it's not that bad. That's funny though. He's got no back support while he's doing his attack. We raised the queen. She went all the way back inside for the eagle. Wow. I don't think that was his plan, was it? Was he expecting that? Log launcher for the multi, but queen walks down. There's nothing to tank for that log launcher now. Okay, we send the royal champion. She'll tank for it. We raised the queen again, send king into the scatter, but queen's going there too. What is this queen doing? <clears throat> now she gets off the wall to shoot the royal champion, then goes back to the wall. King gets the scatter. King gets the cannon. King gets the pad. She still wants that wall. Bro, Masks' queen is throwing right now. Log launcher cleared the core. Rocket balloon's coming out of the CC. They're zooming for that queen. Ooh, his royal champion on the top side did not get the scatter shot up there or the enemy queen. Oh gosh. We're gonna invis the queen. Where's she going? She's chasing the rocket balloon. Can she get the single before we use another spell? Woo, barely. Oh my gosh, it's close. Wall breaker. Oh, that wall breaker was so good. 
Queen has access to the town hall. Now, cameraman, zoom out, because I think he's starting the Lalo from 12 o'clock. I can feel it tingling in my toes, but the cameraman doesn't. Rip, he's still worried about that virus. Cameraman, zoom out, bro. There's a Lalo at 12 o'clock. Thank you. We got the warden with the Lalo as well. Pop the warden ability. Headhunters in the warden ability. Going for the enemy archer queen. Queen got the town hall. Enemy queen is dead. Lalo pushing into the multi with a freeze. And another freeze. Wow, he actually saved that. As long as he has time for cleanup. What a save from Mask, bro. When I think the beginning of the queen walk was not going to plan. We pop that queen ability. There's the tornado trap. Archer's on the right. Balloon's taking out the Warden Tower. It's looking good. Impressive recovery from Mask. He makes it work with 10 seconds to spare and strut R3 for three. Guys, I also have a mini channel, my second Clash of Clans channel, where I'm posting daily content. Link down in the description below. Go check it out right now. Hit subscribe for even more daily Clash content. The man, the myth, the legend, Klaus is in. <coughs> With a super giant. <coughs> Excuse me, bro. Oh, he's got the OP headband on. Here we go. King on the south side with a Valkyrie, with a headhunter, queen to walk to the left. Okay. We got a log launcher and we're going to use it to go take out that left multi. King will take out the eagle. Ice golem in front of the queen. Are we going to see the royal champion? I'm guessing way over at nine o'clock. Yep. With that super giant out in front. Ice Golem going to freeze up the enemy royal champion. The king did pull the CC troops. Oh, the log launcher took out both headhunters. That's so clutch. Yetis in the log launcher are going to get that expo. The logs already cleared the left multi. Queen going to get the scatter shot while the RC is distracting. Distracting. That's a new word. I just invented it. Distracting. We're going to lolo into the town hall. Here we go. <coughs> Warden on air with the little owl that could to help support. We start freezing up the town hall. Royal champion's still alive. Queen pops her ability. Down goes the lava hound. We got to take care of the pups. We got two poisons. There goes one of them. RC's dead. We haste. There's a tornado. We pop warden ability. Oh, that tornado's going to be a little rough. Queen's still alive. What the? We heal the, the, I almost said hog riders. The balloons. We freeze on the right. Do we have anything going for the enemy queen? We got a skeleton spell there. We freeze the back in multi. Our archer queen on offense is still alive. He's got spells for days. There's the last freeze. There's the last haste. The archer queen is still alive. Bro, what? His queen on one HP never died. He just queen charged the whole base with zero healers. Let's go. That's a three star for Klaus all day long. Boom is in with some Lalo action. Can he keep the triple train rolling? Let's see. Uh oh, looks like they don't have Boom's camera working for some reason. He's got an early Yeti bomb on the top side with a clone spell. Okay. Okay. How much value does that get? Don't tell me they get the single. What? Bro, they go for the single and target Inferno Tower instead of the Builder Hut. Those Yeti Mites are cracked. What the value? Queen on the top side with the poison to take care of the CC troops. Okay. Okay. Queen will be able to walk to the left all the way down to the town hall. This is looking good. I cannot believe those clone Yeti Mites took out that Inferno Tower that was right next to the clan castle, dude. That's insane. <clears throat> Queen will continue to make her way to the left. We're going to use King on the right. I bet he's going to try to send RC to go take out that multi. I bet that's the plan. Ice Golem with the Queen. Just got to be patient here. Wait until the pathing is set up so we can send RC to that multi. Oh, he sent her too early. Rip. She won't go get the multi now. Or will she? Or will she? No, she's going to get stuck on that king. We start the Lalo. We don't give her a headhunter either. That RC is going to get like no value at all. Queen needs to pop ability. She'll get the town hall. 
Yes, town hall should be secured. RC dies to the king. That multi stays up. That's awkward. We pop warden ability. We got headhunters going for the queen. Yes. Lava hound flying across the map while invincible. We got three freezes and a couple of haste still to go. We haste on the top side. There's lots of traps though. That multi still doesn't go down. Uh oh, he could be in trouble. Boom is in big trouble. All the balloons fizzle out. Oh no. Rip the homie. Now the question, can he get better percent than Kazuma did? What did Kazuma get, 89? He has to try and at least be 89 or else Strut are gonna lose the lead. He's got minions on the left. Warden trying to snipe some extra buildings. He's not gonna get the 89. He's not gonna get it. Warden dies, he lost all the minions. It's gonna fall short. Does the owl get the Tesla? Yes, for 85. But Queen Walkers are gonna be up on percent by four buildings. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Uta 14 is in with the next attack for Queen Walkers, the final attack for Queen Walkers. If he three stars, Queen Walkers win the match no matter what. They currently have the lead by four buildings on percent. And he's going in with his trusty Queen Charge Lalo. Here we go. Queen on the top side of the base to walk to the right. We rage her up. We wall break into that multi. She's going to have access to the town hall as long as she stays in that compartment. King on the top side. We want him to go take out that other multi on the left. Royal champion in at 12 o'clock. She's going to path all the way to that scatter shot. I like the plan here. Here comes just a partial CC pool. Four archers for now. RC goes to take out the scatter shot, but the CC is going to go straight for her. Ooh, we invis. That's a good invis. He even got the lassie in that invis. Wow, that was spectacular. Poison, freeze on the super minions and the single target Inferno Tower at the same time. That's a high value freeze. RC on the left still has her ability. Can she get all the way to the eagle? That'd be clutch if she does. Queen steps right into the giga juice like a dummy. We pop her ability. RC going for the wizard tower. Come on, RC, go for the eagle. Go for the eagle. And she gets the eagle, bro. That's so good. We rage and invis the queen. We're trying so hard to keep her alive by using a million spells. One more freeze on the single. Queen still pushing. We pop warden ability with the Lalo right away. What did he have on the left? Was that a flame flinger? I completely missed that, but he had a flame flinger working for a while. <laughs> Dragon riders, balloons, cruising through the rest of the defenses. This is wrecked. It's a three star for you to 14. And Queen Walkers, even though they were down from the beginning, what a comeback story. They get the victory over Strut in today's match. This three star guarantees them the win. They're moving on to the next round. But just to let you guys know, the Clash Masters playoffs today, tomorrow, and the next day, it is double elimination. So Strut are not out of the tournament yet but they are moving to the lower bracket while Queen Walkers advance. Ast is in with the final attack of the match. We got a Yeti on the left. It's gonna be Queen Charge Dragon Rider attack. Okie dokie. Start that Queen at seven o'clock. Some balloons to funnel the Archer Tower on the right, but a Tesla pops up. So we're gonna have to drop more balloons. <clears throat> funnel secured. Queen will get the gold sword. She should walk to the right. We want her to go inside the wall gap, take out the town hall. We do have five zaps and two earthquakes. Hello, outside tornado trap. Why two earthquakes? And he forgot to bring a poison. I think that's a mistake. That's gotta be a mistake, right? Oh, hello, red bomb farm. What the? No, I, for sure, he meant to bring a poison in the CC, but he accidentally brought a second quake. Uh-oh. That's gonna be rough to fight the CC with no poison. He drops both quakes. Drops the lightnings. Yeah, you definitely only need one quake and five lightnings there. That's 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 gotta be a mistake. What's he got going on at 12 o'clock? Stone Slammer on the left with a Dragon Rider. King on the top side to go to the Eagle Artillery. <clears throat> he's just gonna send all the dragon riders and it's a super minion cc and he doesn't have a poison probably rocket balloons in there as well pops the warden ability 
The headhunter pulls the rocket balloons out. Queen still looking healthy on the south side of the base. King did not make it all the way to the eagle. We do have that normal dragon from our stone slammer that can help take out the super minions at least. Rage the queen. We still got two invis. Do we keep the royal champion alive? We freeze the core. Royal champion dies. Dragon riders take out the top side. Air defense. Queen fighting enemy queen. She's going to still be alive. Keep wrapping around to the right side of the base. We got Warden. We got three Dragon Riders. One of them is very low on HP, though. We're going to invis those Riders. They go straight for the scatter shot. Do we invis them again right away? Ooh. Ooh. Invis that Rider. Ooh! That Rider in the core is on one HP, taking out the multi, and he still gets the triple. Wow. Poison spells are overrated. LOL. He still gets it. Jeez. It's going to be a 14 star performance from Strut as well. But Queen Walkers with the better percent on their fail. Queen Walkers win the match. Nice job to ask. I think he forgot to bring the poison, but still gets the job done. But nonetheless, Queen Walkers advance 14 to 14. GG's to them.